In this video, we're going to look at a new mass properties option for deformable components in NX2406, NX the June 2024 release of NX. Historically, with deformable components, we have treated them uh, very intentionally <laughs> as a component that gets manufactured uh, in one shape. For instance, this O-ring here in a round shape. And uh, when it's used in the context of an assembly, it may take on a unique shape in, in installation. So for this O-ring, for instance, uh, if we were to come and add this component, uh, this O-ring here to this assembly, in this particular context, it'll ask for a centerline curve that will define where that O-ring gets installed, right? And again, conceptually, this is the same O-ring, right? It's been installed and deformed into place here. The original is, as manufactured, is untouched. And the installed O-ring here in the part navigator, you'll notice in the context of the assembly here, has uh, what looks like a user-defined feature. This is used to be based on a user-defined feature. Now it's based on a feature template <laughs> that stores the local deformation of this O-ring in the context of the assembly, specifically this deformation and specifically in this assembly. Okay. Now, historically, as far as mass properties goes, we have treated this O-ring here as, uh, as if it is not changing mass uh, as, we, as we install it, right? Uh, here we go, mass is what I'm after. Um, so the original mass of this, this component here, as we go and install it here, for instance, is not gonna change, right? Uh, let me update the mass properties of that. Yep, no, that's all good. Uh, good, so that O-ring, uh, again, with its original mass and its installed mass uh, are going to be the same, right? And that's in spite of the fact that this body is actually slightly bigger in NX. Uh, the modeling, the way it's modeled, the, the center line here is slightly longer than the original center line that this one's based on, right? But again, functionally, we're, we're recognizing that, that the part itself has not changed and we're intentionally keeping the mass consistent, okay? Now, with that said, <laughs> we recognize that there's an off-brand usage <laughs> of deformable components that's become somewhat common out there. Uh, we had some creative customers <laughs> who used the concept of deformable components and chose to vary, uh, for instance, a length parameter in, in a deformable component uh, to uh, make that component longer or shorter uh, parametrically. And in that kind of a, a use case, uh, holding the mass constant is not really what they're after. <laughs> and so, for instance, uh, they may have a use case like this where you have some standard cross sections here, a quarter round wood, that are being used to make a frame. And this, this same quarter round part is being used four times to, uh, to, to do this, right? Now, again, this is not uh, the original intent of of deformable components, but this has become somewhat common, <laughs> not just for wood stuff like this, but for things like steel uh, cross sections, I-beams and angle steel and, and things like that, or aluminum extrusions. Um, again, you can create a component with a, a kind of a unit length, uh, add it as a deformable component, and change the length parametrically, uh, and, and reuse that same cross section again and again uh, in that way. So here, for instance, if we unpack these and look at it, this, this assembly, by the way, if you may have noticed uh, some interesting behavior there, is using mirror display actually right now, right, to, to just show kind of that other side. There's only one of these. Uh, these are the four, four sides that are, that are on that. So if we open this component and take a look at it, right, the, the original here, you'll notice that uh, in this quarter round here, we've got a uh, relatively short uh, piece of material. Uh, whoops, I put that on there. There we go. Um, this guy, uh, if we look at this deformation, it's got a couple of optional trims in there. You notice that there's some suppression by expression, feature suppression by expression on these. If we look at the definition of this particular one, you'll notice that there's a, a length that's an expression driven length. There's a, a bevel first and second end that are again expression driven, that are these expressions, but there's an expression called bevel first end and bevel second end. We've chosen checkbox presentation for these that will give us a one or a zero uh, output. And again, we're using that one or zero there 
on the suppression of uh, one of the other trims uh, on, on the two ends here, okay? Um, so this is, again, we're looking in Template Studio Author here. This is the new authoring framework here for deformable components. The older uh, dialog has been retired. And uh, so we've got great flexibility in, in how we put these together here. But again, in this particular component, what we've done is in the main here, we can choose now the mass properties behavior for this component. The default here is to uh, the historical uh, behavior, which is to have a fixed mass for a deformable component. But in this case here, we've chosen this new option, which is to do use uh, the stock component with variable mass. So again, as we change the stock length here, uh, in this case stick length for, for wood, um, this is going to actually vary the mass now uh, for this kind of component as it's consumed in the context of an assembly or installed into an assembly. Okay, so let's exit here and go take a look at that in the context of the assembly here. Because these have variable mass, as we go to our cabinet door assembly here, you'll notice that, uh, that this one and this one, the long sides here, have a larger mass, 0.45, as compared to the two short sides here, right? So this is new behavior here again in, in X2406, where we can choose the author of the deformable component will choose the mass behavior. You can either choose to have a consistent uh, fixed mass as it's um, created and then, and then installed in different places, or you can choose to use this stock material kind of behavior where the, the actual size of the, the resulting part uh, determines the mass, okay? So again, this has been kind of an off-brand off -brand brand behavior. <laughs> we're, uh, we're making this official here <laughs> and allowing this to happen here in the context of, of uh, NX2406. And uh, we hope that you find that useful.